Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here because I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. So one of the biggest improvements in this phone is the Snapdragon 888 processor. It is a significant increase over last year's 865 Plus that's in the Z Flip 5G. It's supposed to be about 25% more efficient and 25% more powerful which is a great combination because you get better battery efficiency, but you get more proficiency when it comes to performance tasks. And then it's supposed to be 35% better whenever it comes to gaming performance, AI enhancement, and a lot of different stuff. But I've used the Snapdragon 888 processor in a lot of phones this year. The Mi 11, the Mi 11i, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro, and in every single one of those phones, there's been a really big problem, and that is the overheating in the battery life. Now, I'm not talking about overheating as in shutting down the phone, but they run seemingly at a much higher clock speed, even though the clock speed is the same. The clock speeds on the 865 Plus and the 888 are the same. So if they're the same, how are we getting less performance out of our phones and why are we having them throttled because that's the only way Samsung and OnePlus and these other manufacturers have found a way to deal with it. It's a problem and I want to talk about it. But before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Let's talk about this problem. Okay, I don't think it's any secret, especially if you followed me for any period of time this year, the S21 Ultra has had terrible battery life, at least for me. There have been other people that have reported decent battery life. Of course, everybody uses their phone differently. However, universally, it has been acknowledged that there is a problem with heat and with trying to manage that because whenever it's running on the primary core, it generates a lot of electricity, which is completely the opposite of what you would think because the Snapdragon 888, like I just said a minute ago, 20% more efficient, 20% better battery power. So you would expect it to get better battery life. And most interestingly, when I first got my S21 Ultra, I was getting significantly better battery life screen on time than I was with my 865 Plus that I had in my Note 20 Ultra. My previous stance was that the 865 Plus had a worse battery than the 8 the triple eight and then i got it in about two or three weeks into using it and i think mostly because of a one ui update it really messed things up and it didn't get better it got worse as they came out with more patches now some people seem to think it's okay a lot of people or some people however you want to look at it that i've dealt with in my comment section that have talked to me that i've talked to personally have had a lot of issues it seems like maybe they might have fixed some of it now and i think that's one of the biggest things going for this new phone as the z flip 3 comes out I think that hopefully the software experience might be better and maybe they found some way to deal with this, but heat has really been a problem. So what Samsung has done is they've had to go in and do basically throttling. And OnePlus has also had to go in and do throttling. OnePlus actually got caught. They got caught with their hand in the cookie jar having gone behind the scenes after the benchmarks, after all the testing had been done by Geekbench, and they turned down a lot of the apps, like normal day-to-day -day apps like Chrome and Twitter, to where they were running super, super low on the low core instead of the medium or the high core, to the tune of it was actually slower than the Snapdragon 765G. A Snapdragon 888 processor clocked to run slower than the 765 on certain apps to keep from basically running into this issue. So... I wonder what's going to happen with the Z Flip 3. It's in a smaller body. It has a smaller battery. It has a 3,300 milliamp battery. So if on paper we say 25% better, what's 25% of that? 714, 20, 20, about 800 and 850 milliamps roughly. So we should have the equivalent performance of about a 4,000 milliamp battery compared to the 865 plus. Apples to apples, oranges to oranges, but... They added the stereo speaker. They added the bigger display on the external screen. They added the 120 hertz refresh adaptive rate. And that means how many times the screen will refresh an image in one second. 60 hertz is 60 times. 120 is 120 times in one second. It's basically doing twice the work on re-representing that image on the screen, which makes it look really smooth. It's really nice for day-to-day -day usage. It's amazing for scrolling on like Twitter and your social media feeds. And it's nice for watching movies and games. But... 
it's at a cost and that's the problem it, it what it's going to do is it's going to drain the battery more so there's actually the 865 plus is a seven nanometer system on a chip it's a seven nanometer processor system on a chip means it has the processor and the gpu built into one chip it's like the processor the gpu and the modem now when you look at the 865 plus it's seven nanometer when you look at the triple eight it's five what happens is when they make those processors thinner that's what's supposed to give it the better battery efficiency and the more power efficiency because what happens is you have this little silicone chip and it fires the electricity and then it bounces around as it does its computations and there's more space for that electricity to travel through so when you take a seven nanometer and make it a five nanometer it has less space that it has to move so it gets more bang for the buck when it comes to the amount of power that you're using so even though the core speeds are identical the primary core the three gold cores and then the four silver cores the speeds are identical but you get a 25 percent power boost and a 25 percent efficiency improvement on battery that's what we're supposed to be seeing i'm worried we're not going to get that and i i just as based on my experience this last year be, what i've dealt with with the xiaomi 11 series i've used those with the triple eight the one plus nine the one plus nine pro and also when it comes to the s21 ultra i have not had a good experience with the battery on any of them and all of them have had to be throttled in some way and especially when it comes to the camera the one plus nine pro camera notorious uh, out in the social media and the tech review arena when it comes to using the camera and the video stuff so i hope for the best but this is a concern that i have moving forward with this device so i don't want to advocate for using a lesser quality processor because i think that the z flip should be treated as a flagship yes it doesn't have a quad hd plus screen but you're not going to get a quad hd plus screen 5g 120 hertz stereo speakers and all that jazz out of a 3300 milliamp battery i really wanted to see an increase and yeah we're supposed to get an increase in efficiency but i just haven't seen that this year i have not seen that translated maybe it's gotten slightly better now since the s21 ultra and the one ui updates have been out since since january so moving forward when this phone comes out actually some people have already got it in their hands I'm looking forward to see what people are getting for battery life. I am the hardest person I know when it comes to battery life. So I'm going to test this thing rigorously. And you may see me complaining a lot on Twitter because I'm not expecting greatness here. 3,300 milliamps. I'm only getting about four hours of screen on time max, really, when it comes to my Z Flip 5G now with a 3,300 milliamp battery. So add a bigger screen on the outside. Add a Snapdragon 888 add the 120 hertz refresh rate add the extra speaker i think any improvement we're going to get is basically a wash and that's also computer enhancement stuff too and also you know just generally using less energy but hey we're supposed to have a significant improvement in gaming performance and ai processing stuff anything that has to do with ai computational photography a lot of that stuff is going to be a lot better and i think that's also why i think maybe some of the images are coming looking a little bit better post-processing out of the z flip 3 that we've seen from people who are reviewing it so as far as a performance improvement i'm expecting this thing to be a beast of a phone i'm really looking forward to all these upgrades i just worry that it's going to have a really significant detrimental impact on the battery so that's something to look out for that's something that I'm going to be keenly tuned in on my phone, taking a look at this day to day. I'll be posting my battery screenshots and all that stuff. So something to keep an eye out for. I hope they can find a way without having to throttle the chipset too much to really be able to squeeze the power and the benefits out of this triple eight inside of the smaller package. So we'll see, hopefully it has good heat displacement, which is going to be a concern also because it's the phone has a split battery and it half the batteries in the bottom, half the batteries in the top. I don't know how much room we have in there for heat piping or other thermals, but it's something I'm concerned about. And we'll have to pay attention to this, keep an eye on it moving forward. But that's all I've got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.